So here we are, the end of season two at Stuttgart. We will have a look at how we did in the league table, but of course we will also see if we are able to kick some Bayern Munich butt in the cup final. <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Jochen aka Leo Demus and welcome to part 17 of Stuttgart über alles. In this FM21 series I try to transform Stuttgart in Germany from a newly promoted Bundesliga club into a European giant. If you are enjoying this series so far, feel free to show me some support by liking the videos and by subscribing to my channel, whack on that notification button so we can keep doing this German adventure together. Since you were last here, which was of course our awesome victory against Bayer Leverkusen in the semi-final of the cup, we have played the four last league games of the second season and we have won three of them. We only lost to Hamburg, in Hamburg even, and I mean it was quite an even game but in the end they were the better team so I can't really argue with this, although they are, let me see, 11th in the Bundesliga, I think at that point they were even lower. So we probably should have won, but if you look at these match stats, it probably just wasn't our day. Now besides that loss, we did absolutely fantastic. The first game after the semi-final was against Paderborn. And I mean, look at the amount of games we had in April. It is pure insanity. That is of course why I had to bring some guys in from my under-19 squad, for example, because a lot of our first team players were tired and had too many games, and I get that. So I had to bring in some guys, for example, Davino Knappe, he was already here at Stuttgart when we arrived. He is a pretty decent talent and I didn't really notice him before just now because he had his debut for us in the game against Paderborn and he scored two freaking goals. I did set him on, well, he is an attacking midfielder, is his most natural position, but I am playing him on the right wing, although he is right footed. And I am using an inside forward there, but it's not impossible. As you can see, he's also very much suited to play as an inside forward. And his training, I have set up like this. So I could basically train him also as a right winger to get those attributes up more. But those attributes are in fact quite high. For example, dribbling, aggression, acceleration and pace are right up there. Agility. So I really went out and, lo and was looking for a position and role and duty to train him in, which would highlight the attributes that were not, as quite, not quite as high as those. So I came up with Engage Support. You can see the green fields are the attributes that are trained because I have set it up like this. The blue ones are of course my additional focus, which I have set to Shooting. And I also just set this up, I want to train a new player trait on uh, this guy. Cut inside from the right wing, so if he is playing as an inside forward, of course, this is a very handy trait to have. So I'm hoping this will, maybe after a couple of seasons, really help him to be more established in that right winger role. And who knows, we might be looking at a right winger for the future, man. Now, if you are not familiar with doing the training yourself, and it can be quite overwhelming, trust me, I did make a video a couple of weeks ago about everything concerning training in Football Manager, feel free to check it out and hopefully it can be of some use to you all. Now, of course, in today's episode, we are playing the Majestic Cup Final against our demons at Bayern Munich. But first, let's have a look at how we did in the league. And to summarize, we did freaking awesome. We finished in fifth position, which means we are qualifying for the Europa Cup next season, which is awesome. We only had three points less than fourth placed Borussia Mönchengladbach. And to be fair, if we had beaten Hamburg, we wouldn't even have gotten there because they have a better goal difference. So let's not overdo ourselves. We finished in fifth position, which is insane in our second season. We can only go up from here because we will get better. We have a lot of good youngsters who are, as we speak, getting better by the day. So I am really hopeful, man. In other news, Bayern, of course, as I predicted, are crowned champions once again. Leipzig in second position and Borussia Dortmund finishes off the top three. 
Fortuna Düsseldorf and Paderborn are relegated to the Bundesliga 2 and Hertha Berlin is playing the uh, relegation playoff thing against, I think, where is it? Here, Union Berlin. So we have a Berlin derby going on. But also a fun fact, if they get relegated, we have to keep an eye out for this player because he was one of the best players in the whole of the Bundesliga this season. I think I could really use him. He is right-footed, so maybe as an inside forward on the left side of the pitch. Who knows? But if they get relegated, I really have to keep an eye out for this because his price maybe will drop. And we could possibly sign him. Fingers crossed. As far as player stats go, Nicolas Gonzalez is right up there with Sorlot and Haaland as the joint top scorer in the league. Sandro Tonali is our top assist guy with 12. And maybe the best part of this all, Nicolas Gonzalez has set a new Bundesliga record with seven player of match awards. And now, of course, it is hammer time, y'all. We are playing the cup final against FC Bayern Munich. Tactical meeting, please. Make one change to the team. Let's go straight to the team selection screen then. We have... Two injuries, one of which is worse than the other because Borna Sosa is injured and he will not be joining us, uh, as is Pascal Stenzel, but I don't really care that much about that. Uh, let's see though, should we play Wamangituka as the wing back? I think I am going to do uh, this. And apart from that, so Sobol is replacing uh, Borna Sosa on the left side on the wing back position. And I think that is pretty much so this is the team to face Bayern Munich in our counter-attacking system, of course, because I guarantee you, if we play the wing system, chances are we are getting slaughtered. So let's just start out with the counter-attacking system, and we can see if we have to switch to the wing system as the match progresses. The team to go out there. Blanco in goal, Shabot, Amadozic and Anton as our back three. Sobol and Hendricks on the wing back, Tonali, Mongala, and Kovalenko as our midfield triangle. Striker duo, Nicolas Gonzalez and Matias Arezzo. Seven players are concerned. Let's see who they are. And I mean, this is what I was talking about in the last episode as well. This is the counter attacking system we have been using for like two seasons now. I pretty much dare to say that I haven't changed anything position wise. Uh, Role, duty-wise, mentality-wise. And still a lot of starting players, including Tonali and Wilshire and Wamangituka even, are concerned with the formation. Their lack of tactical familiarity. I am not sure, but I think this is quite a bug. So let's go to match. And let's see what the Bayern Munich squad looks like, because Dayum. I mean, we all know it. it's one of the best teams in the world. There is no denying that. Do I even need to go over the list, man? I mean, they bought Ruben Nevas also, Alfonso Davies on the on the left hand side, Kimmich on the right hand side, uh, Sané Lewandowski. <laughs> it is scary to play this team, but hey, here we are. We are in the final, so let's rock and roll. Dressing room. If we carry on today with pumped fists, nope. I know a lot of you will be keen to avenge what happened last time we played Bayern, probably. All the games we played Byron. So go out there and express yourselves. I like it, Tunnel. Well, Leo, the big game is finally upon us. Can you win the cup, the DFB Pokal, here today? Um, I hope so. We've prepared well and the lads look ready to go out and give a suitable performance. A suitable performance. Wow. Loving the euphemism. The under-19 squad, that's right, I didn't tell you, they did win the Youth Cup. And there is clearly a vast amount of talent in your youth setup. So true, Joao. How pleased were you to see it? And do you have any plans to promote some of the players to your first team squad? Well, uh, let's see. Ba -ba -ba -bum. And I think this is the actual case, though. Uh, we will get back to that in the summer break episode, of course. They are a fantastic group of players. And there is some real potential in that group. I'd be stupid if I'd give... I didn't give one or two of them a chance. How much credit do the staff involved in the development of these youngsters deserve for this success? Let's praise our staff, shall we? I'm very lucky to have a team full of exceptionally gifted coaches and whatnot. Come 
on. Is there perhaps one player who stands out from the Stuttgart on the 19th Youth Cup win as someone you have your eye out on for the future? This is dangerous because there, I might, by choosing one here, actually promise that guy that he will be fe featuring in the first team next season. But to be fair, there is one guy, um, Marvin Schieber, who I'm pretty sure will be. So, hmm. should I choose him, though? You know what? I'm just going to do it. Bam. Confirm. Let's see where it gets us. First, let's play the cup final. Okay, 10 minutes in and not a single thing happened on both sides, which is good. Although Bayern has 72% <laughs> possession. And here they go. Davis with the throw in to Lamar to Tolisso. Ruben Davis back to Tolisso. Alfonso Davis swings it in and Mula, I think, hits the crossbar. Yep, it's a goal kick. First real chance for Bayern Munich after 20 minutes. I mean, it took him a while, didn't it? What should we shout? Maybe encourage? Yep, all green faces. Me likey. And I mean, damn, we have almost reached halftime. We didn't do anything. We have an XG of <laughs> 0 0.05. Um, but who cares, man? I mean, if we can counter in the 88th minute, I am all good. Dressing room. Let's go for pump fists. Let's say the exact same thing, man. Just revenge. Bam. Start second half, but I think Byron is going to come us come at us pretty hard. But we will see. Ruben Blanco with the goal kick to Anton. Come on. Hendricks with the ball now on the right side of the pitch. Back to Anton. Ooh, that's a good ball to Mangala, who is quite deep, but he is in the box-to-box -box midfielder role, so could be normal. Anyway, we lost the ball. We lost possession, and now Lamar with the ball on their left side, and... Uh, crosses it. Muller again. Ruben Neves. Oh man. They, they are going to have so much possession when this game is over. Not a penalty. Thank you. Ooh, maybe an attack for us. Come on, Gonzalez. Come on. Come on. Ba-boom. Oh. What? Oh man. How awesome would that have been? Damn. Davis to Sané, who is slightly injured. I mean, kick him. Kick him off the field. Um, why is nobody attacking Alfonso Davis? Back to Sané. Back to Davis. Tolisso to Ruben. Ooh, Lewandowski. Don't let him shoot. Don't let him do anything, please. Oh, and Kimmich also. And I think... Ooh, that's a good save. Good save by our goalkeeper, Ruben Blanco. We are 53 minutes in, and it's still... Nil nil, I like it, but wow. They are pressing though. Is that offside? No, probably not. Lamar, good steal. I have no idea who it was, but that was a good steal. And the highlight ends. Okay, let's pause game for a minute. Always press Kimmich, that's good. I am going to do a shout. Hmm. Should I just encourage them again? Let's try it. Continue. Highlight already started. Hendricks with the ball. To Tonali. Mongala. Back to Tonali. Come on, Hendricks. Do the overlap, man. Risky ball to Sobol. And that is, of course, the problem. If you give away possession to Bayern Munich, you are pretty much asking for trouble. Am I right? Muller now to Ruben Neves. To Tolisso. And they are very patient, man. But, of course, they have a couple of guys who can do this. So, yeah. Good old Thomas Muller, 17th goal of the season. And you know what? I mean, what do we have to lose? We are already second in the cup competition. So I am going to go to... Pause game, please. The winger formation. And let's see. I am getting... Uh, oh, sorry. What is this? What hap what's happening? Anton off for Amadozic. Well, not off. I'm going to swap him for Amadozic. I'm going to get Mongala in the halfback role. And I'm going to do a little bit of Ustakiu in the Mazzala role. So, mm, Tonali is now in the roaming playmaker role. 
We'll see how it goes. I think I will bring on some of my young talent in Renier or Hugo Felix or Burak Ince. Did you see him on camera already? I don't think you have. We'll see. Let's just confirm these changes. Play ball. Yes, sir. And let's also go to attacking because I want to score a goal at least. I know we will probably concede a couple more after that. Like now, for example, Lamar with the cross, and <laughs> damn, Thomas Muller makes it 2-0. Uh, let's go to very attacking, and let's, should I say, demand more? I mean, it is Bayern Munich, man. I think I'm going to frustrate them if I start berating them or start demanding more. Good goal, though. I mean, what can you say? Skip, though. Let's say, you know what, let's say demand more. And Kovalenko is injured, apparently. Let's pause game. Let's get him off for Mr. Mr. Sister. Um, Renier? Mm, he's on the... Oh, he's on the right side. Definitely Renier. Definitely Renier. Let's go, boys. Amadozic now. Come on. To Shabot. Sobol, who is booked. Gonzalez. Ooh, that's an awesome ball to Arezzo. Dink, dink. Oh, <laughs> simple yet efficient. Just simply decides to go around the keeper, which also works if the keeper stays stand still. But that was an awesome goal, especially this ball by Gonzalez. Boom. I mean, awesome deep ball to Arezzo, and he simply goes around Neuer, who isn't looking that good, to be honest. But hey. Two to one. Okay, we have like a half an hour left. Let's do this, boys. I'm going to stay at very attacking. Because I don't care if we concede three more goals. If chances are that we score one. Amadozic to Mongala. That is a risky ball to Hendricks, but it lands at his feet. Renier now. Cut inside, man. Cut in. Ooh, Arezzo. Arezzo. Ustakiyo. Tonali. Oh, oh, it's offside. It's not offside. Mm, 25th goal of the season we are two all and I'm going to keep this formation but I am going to go to balanced let's have a look at the goal Arezzo gets the ball to Ustakio and Tonali and what an what a passing game man what a passing triangle right there 10 minutes and something left um let's see do we have a substitution? Yes, we do. Tonali is starting to die on us. Let's get an experienced guy, Jack Wilshere, on. And let's get him in the Mazzala role and Ustakia in our playmaker role. <laughs> let's go, boys. Diam. I did not expect this, to be honest. Um, ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Pause game. I, I'm going to tell Sobol to man Mark Thomas Muller. And we have a highlight. We have a highlight, guys. Henriks with the throw-in to Renier gets clattered. Damn it. Gnabry to Tolisso and a lot of room for speed train Alfonso Davis. Good interception by Amadozic. Ustakio now. Awesome. Come on, Gonzalez. Do it. Do it. Put the crown on our season by scoring an absolute wonder goal. Mongala. Arezzo. Ooh. Oh, 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 here they come. Here they come. We are outnumbered in the center. And, oh, good save. Thank you, Ruben Blanco. I think we're going to extra time, guys. Yes, sir. Um, okay, let's go to our dressing room. Pump fists. That's probably a lie. We've been the better team here. Should we once again go for the Avenge thing? Or should we go for this one? It's time for everyone to dig in and give everything we've got left. True story. And I am going to do another substitution because, yeah, that's what I thought. Mongala is starting to pass out. And I am going to get Ustakio in the halfback role. And swap Mongala for Mr. Budak Inns. And I know he's only two stars, but trust me, he is... I mean, if you haven't seen him in one of the previous episodes, this guy is insane. 
uh, for his age. I am going to put him in the play. I am going to put him in the Mazzala role and more experienced Mr. Jack Wilshire in the playmaker role. Start extra time. Oh, sweet lord. Here we go. Subal with the throw in. To Gonzalez. Penalty. Pen oh, I thought it was a penalty. Jack Wilshire with the ball. Come on, Jack. Don't do anything stupid. Uh, thank you. Ustakio now to Amadozic. Arezzo is so good, but although that was a bad pass. Shabot Amadozic once again to start from the back, but that is once again a bad ball. Keep it simple, boys. Keep it simple and play some football. Because that's what Bayern does, to be honest. Lamar to Lewandowski, who is dropping back very deep. Uh, Mula. And here we go. Oh, keeper should be there. Keeper should have been there. God damn it. Mm. Blanco looks frustrated. I bet because that was his ball, man. You can say whatever you want. But that was our keeper's ball. Look at this. Lewandowski with a deep ball. And yeah, keeper should have been there. He's almost in this area. So mm, let's go to very attacking. And let's shout. I'm going to shout the man more. Okay, not that much effect, to be honest. Let's see what we have here. We are have reached halftime. Can I do another substitution? I probably can't, though. Uh, Subal for Eater. Nope, I can't. Cancel. Let's just play it out. Corner kick for Bayern Munich. Lamar. And that pretty much seals the deal. An own... Oh. Disallowed? VAR. Let's go, VAR. Disallowed. I mean, come on. That was obvious, man. Yes, yes, yes. Goal disallowed. We still have a chance. He pushed another player. You can't do that. You can't do that on a soccer slash football pitch. Come on, guys. Mm hmm? 10 minutes left, Ruben Blanco with the ball. Let's start from the back. Let's keep it simple this time. Ustakio. Good ball to Renier. Oh, that's an awesome ball. Arezzo, but he's all alone. Wow, good, sweet mother of God. <sighs> Once again, a corner kick. Lamar with the outswinging ball and no idea who, but he heads it over the crossbar. Let's shout again. Let's pause game. Let's shout uh, fire up, I guess. Five minutes left, but I think, look at the match stats, man. <laughs> Ooh, Budak with the free kick. Mm, gets headed away. Ustakio has to hurry. I hope you don't hear my dog barking. He's excited too, because this is the final minute of the game and we have one minute of extra time. But I think... Ooh, good tackle by Wilshire. Come on, Ranier. Work your magic. Subal to Wilshire again. And Subal is, is just out of gas. He, he's, he has no gas left to do the overlap. As has Gonzalez. And of course, Lamar is basically a marathon runner. So, okay. He looks tired as well. I think that was it, guys. Because there's 20 seconds left in extra time. We fought for everything we had, but for this year, it just wasn't for us. Josemir now, and they're really stalling, and I can't blame him. Here we go. The DFB Pokal goes to Bayern Munich, and you can't really say it's undeserved, right? Damn it. Although I would have loved to see our squad on this stage because fireworks are about to come. Manuel, Manuel Neuer with the cup and ba 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 boom. Congrats to Bayern Munich, but hmm. <laughs> Post match, please. Dressing room. Um, let's. I mean, I'm I'm actually going to go with outstretched arms. No, probably I won't. Uh, let's do no gesture but say congratulations to all of you for being part on the on the final. We didn't get the result but you all deserve praise for being here. Okay, motivation and whatnot. Do we have an interview? We do. 
How do you feel in the immediate wake of such a disappointment? Well, open arms. Um, I'm proud. It wasn't to be today. It wasn't to be today. But the future is definitely bright. Commiserations, Leo. That was a very close game. I know you must be disappointed with the result. How did you rate your team's performance? Um, let's just keep it positive. I feel we played magnificently. Not really sure about that, but hey. And to lose an extra time like that was very harsh. Some fan reactions. <laughs> Now what do we do? Well, we prepare for the offseason. That is what we'll do. How much money did we get from losing the final? Kovalenko is injured, but who cares? The season is over. 2.56 mil. Okay, so guys, that was it for season 2 of Stuttgart über alles. Um, I am going to play the offseason off camera. We will start the next episode with a small season review, just... Really brief, like the thing you get in Football Manager with the different screens. We'll go over that. But safe to say, it was still like a transitional season. Uh, we did awesome. We finished in fifth place. Last year, we were, what, seventh, I guess? Right? I already forgot that. Good on me, Club Info. Yep, we were, last year, we were in seventh place. This year, we finished in fifth place. We are climbing up the ladder. If we can bring some more players in with the money that we will have, probably. I think we have a pretty good shot of qual at qualifying for the Champions League next season. And of course, that is when the big guacamoles start rolling in. So guys, I really hope you have enjoyed this second season and especially this video. If you did, please leave me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Whack on that notification button so we can keep doing this thing together. Connect with me down in the comment section. Let me know some transfer suggestions, if you will. I am all ears. Thank you so much for watching, and I really hope to see you very soon. Mm -hmm.